Welcome back. Tracking a few building clouds across the region. We're going to start things off with our water vapor imagery. That kind of paints the picture for us, showing us moisture right kind of smack dab in the middle of the atmosphere. Pretty decent amount of moisture moving up from the South Pacific, but a lot of it getting hung up on the mountains right now. So, again, when we turn on the live HD Doppler, a few of those showers moving south of Salida likely going to catch a bit near Canyon City. But for the most part, eastern plains are going to stay relatively dry. Could see a few pop up isolated showers in the foothills tracking. Throughout El Paso and Pueblo County. Here's how that evening is going to play out for us on the Skycast. Notice, could see a few of those showers. We're not looking at any real gully washers. We could see some heavy, heavier pockets of rain tonight, but not overly heavy. So just keep that in mind as the evening plays out. It's going to diminish fairly quickly for us and kind of track right across Pueblo County there. And again, losing a lot of strength once it makes its way into the eastern plains. Just not a lot of energy throughout eastern Colorado to really warrant many of these storms. And as the evening plays out again, any of that moisture pretty much staying well to our south. Just cloudy conditions tonight. Could see a little morning fog as well, but really just kind of a cloudy evening for us. Those overnight lows cooling to 61 in Colorado Springs, 40s and 50s in the high terrain, and really not cooling off much in the eastern plains after that triple digit day we had today, mid 60s. Out in the plains. All right, the big story into Monday that area of high pressure that's brought all the sunny conditions this weekend, pretty much staying planted over southern Colorado. That's going to keep a lot of the moisture out of the area. However, we're going to see that ridge flatten down slightly, and again, that jet stream start to take a little bit of a dip. That's going to allow for a little South Pacific moisture to rejoin the forecast tomorrow afternoon. Also, we're tracking a weak little cold front that's going to slip into the area. Very weak cold front, and that cold front doesn't have a lot of moisture to work with. It is still going to kick off a few showers. Showers, more showers than what we're expecting tonight, but not overly heavy showers. A few pockets of heavier showers, though, into the western slopes. Notice a little bit more widespread rain tomorrow, but really nothing too crazy. And again, moves out very quickly after sunset. Tuesday, right now, looks to be the active day. Those high temperatures looking at the 80s and 90s tomorrow, 85 in Colorado Springs, trying to hit the tip, uh, triple digits throughout the eastern plains tomorrow. Next seven days looks like this for us. Again, looking at 85 tomorrow. Those temperatures are going to slowly cool off by Wednesday. Again, right now, Tuesday looks to be our most active day as we have the most weather elements coming together. But good news is the remainder of the week looks dry. We do have a slight potential toward the tail end of this next week by Sunday to see a few isolated showers. Right now, it's trending dry, so I haven't got too excited about that yet. But again, temperatures cooling off through Wednesday and then warming right back up just in time for this next weekend. Consistent in the 60s for those overnight lows in Pueblo. Canyon City looking at 90 degrees afternoon storms pretty much up through Wednesday. And again, the most active day right now is Tuesday. Yeah, we'll see some storms move throughout the area. More storms than what we're going to see this afternoon and evening on Monday. But right now, again, Tuesday is going to be the most active one. Teller County, about a 40% shot of moisture up through Tuesday, starting to taper off that chance of rain by Wednesday. And then just sunny conditions really for the remainder of the week with those temperatures getting back up into the high 70s just in time for the weekend and 40s and 50s for your overnight lows in the mountains. So yeah, looking at a few storms to start out your work week, but again, Right now, it doesn't look like they're going to be nearly as severe as what we saw this last week. Not those, you know, monsoon rains that, you know, leave garbage cans floating down the side of the street or anything like I that. I still can't get over that picture of hail just covering, right? like, inches just covering the entire street. Oh, well, I know. And like Falcon, three inches of rain in just a matter of moments. That's almost unheard of. But yeah. it doesn't look like we're going to see anything that severe, but still some rain showers to start out the work. And week. this cold front will be mild compared mild. to the last one. Yeah, just kind of cool things down a little bit is the main impact. Okay, Jason, thanks it's a lot. Wrong. Josh is here with sports. Big news with Rockies. The Rockies are going to the World Series. What? No, just kidding. No. Yeah, you got a ways to go get before that. Hey! <laughs> A winning streak.